begging for forgiveness, asking for a second chance, crying over spilled milk, feeling that you have lost the person that you have loved because they have turned you down and they made a mess. And the only thing that you're asking is, please don't do it, please don't do it. And yet, they did it. And then now, here they are, suffering. Scorpio, who did you dirty? And now that your, your person wants to connect with you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sal. I'm the reader. <laughs> We're also, this is also Eat, Read, Love, where we try to people align themselves with everything magical and mystical. <laughs> right now, we just uh, restocked our number one seller, our beaded bracelet. You guys can check it out. And also, I have one of one pieces right now, I'm gonna show you, is our citrine, because these are silver, these are silver. Okay, we got different, okay, gemstone crystal rings right now, okay? And just because it's a Scorpio, we're gonna do a sale on it. So this is 50% off. You can check it out. Now, I only have limited. I think I only have three okay, of this. So go check it out. It's in the description. I hope it is, you know, of course, citrine, money, finances, wisdom, protection, okay? The clarity of this and the carrots is just crazy. I'll show it to you more. Now, let's begin here. I'm gonna ch I'm, I choose this one for the read today, okay? Let's see. Oh, one second, guys. Da, da, da. Okay, let's see what's going on here. There's an extended reading to this. It's going to be in the description box below. From Five of Cups to Five of Swords. That went, um, that went fast. Mm. Like, first it was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then since chances are, Scorpio, you didn't allow their sorry and their begging. They got triggered, now they're upset and mad at you for not allowing the relationship to manifest. Okay. Um, let me see. So your person can become uh, like easy, I hate you to I love you. Okay, because there was five of cups earlier. Now, it's more of like, well, I hate you, Scorpio, because you're making it difficult. So, now, you don't try to start an argument with a Scorpio because then you will see what it means to have an argument with a Scorpio, basically. Because uh, this is like, this is useless for the Scorpio, meaning you're going to probably say your person, mm-hmm. You are going to tell your person here that, no, I don't want no fight. And, you know, I don't sense that you're a Scorpio. Yes, you can be triggered. Yes, you will go for their jugular. But I sense like you're just going to walk away from this. It's like, you know better. Like, you have transformed. It's like, yeah, it's, I choose my battle. But don't talk to me again. Bye. You know, because I don't sense your energy here, which means that you have walked away because your person is inconsistent. They do trigger you and you don't want to be triggered. Who likes to be triggered, right? Nobody. Hmm. Okay. Ace of Wands. Them trying to reach out. Let me continue here. I see. Okay. Spicy. All right. Okay. You don't mess with a Scorpio. That's what I can tell you. So right now, from what I'm seeing is that your person is testing you, whether you're going to allow their excuse. You didn't allow that. You found out something about them. Because you got a page of swords over here in the Ace of Wands. And then after that, it's just like, yeah, this is unforgivable. Scorpio reading is never a complete without the tower. You have a tower here. I'll show the cards later. Mm -hmm. but that's that. Now, after the argument, you started to think like, I need to get out of this. I can't be here. 
whatever truth that you found out, you gather the information, you gather the data, you communicate with the page of swords, you try to address the truth, they made an excuse instead of explaining the truth, they started to pick a fight. They just started to argue. They just started to, um, you know, like move the discussion away from the subject. And actually, I feel like your person wanted separation that way. If you guys are separated, okay, like, oh, okay, then we can patch up and then they're going to forget about that. And then I'm not going to be guilty of what they found out because it's going to be forgotten. So they actually wanted this argument to happen. Like they know how to trigger you, which they did at some point because you walk away or you separated with the tower and the five of swords over here. You're basically, they know you with the five of swords in the tower. Like you cannot refuse this kind of engagement. Okay. But what your person doesn't know because you got a Queen of Swords and the King of Wands, Scorpio. What your person doesn't know is that, okay, Queen of Swords, King of Wands, is that you know what they're up to. So it feels like you guys are going around in circles here. Okay. It's like they expected it, you know, to break up or separate, but you also wanted it with the Queen of Swords. King of Wands, your person can be a fire sign. So the way I see this is that arguments, you found out the truth, something about intimacy, page of swords with the ace of wands, you found that out. You ask them, are you talking to someone? Are you seeing someone? Okay, they lie about that. Okay, and then it's like, no, no, no. You're being unreasonable. You're just creating this again. This is what you do when you're feeling insecure because they're triggering you, see? They're telling you, it's like, you're insecure. Why would you say that? And mind you, they have it. They didn't say no. They didn't deny it. You know, it's like, where did you get this information? Okay, it doesn't matter because Page of Swords does. So I don't know what your source is, but you probably have good sources and that's you, Scorpio. They deny it. They deny it. And then it's just an argument. It became, it becomes a Five of Swords. When you got the Five of Swords, it's like everything now. Everything is just an argument. It's like, you did this last time. You're so always suspicious. You always doubt me this and that. I'm fine, like if they're calling you like that, right? But they haven't denied it and they haven't yet said yes or no about what you're asking about if they've been intimate with someone or talking or flirting with someone else. You got it? So you're watching basically your person make a mess out of this. Queen of Swords, the tower, right? You're watching it, it's like, okay, I let you fry in your oil, in your own oil, basically. Make sure it's peanut oil. <laughs> so it's crispy, you got a lot of flavor. So. Your person thinks that you didn't know what they're up to, but the Queen of Swords can't play her. Mm, she invented the game. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Ooh, an eye for an eye. You got a King of Swords with your person. The devil, and it's underneath the Ace of Wands. So you are right, Scorpio. You are definitely right. But this is also, your person knows. Your person knows that you know. Your person knows that you know. <laughs> Interesting. I have to stress that out. Because it feels like it comes with a package. They had a disclaimer, meaning it's like, you know who I am. You know that this is me. Okay. How hot are you? Mm -hmm. Underneath the Page of Swords. So your information, whoever your source is, Scorpio, you good. Devil with the Three of Swords, Manage Trois, Betrayal, Trust, Loyalty, gone. And what is it? You guys were married. You guys are in a relationship. Tower and the Four of Wands. You see that? This is how it comes in the spread. I'll show you guys. So your person has been cheating, lying, betraying you. You found out about it. High Priestess, they stopped talking to you. And right now you're just recovering from this with the Four of Swords. But remember, your first card is Five of Cups, which is, of course, you guys are trying to, or well, someone is begging for forgiveness. So clearly, I don't see, but you can flip it, reverse it if you want to, if you're a cross watcher. Okay, I'm going to reverse it. 
So I'm going to go now for a question. I'm going to see the root of the situation. The Let's get down to the dirty. It's filthy though, but we'll see. Ask a question now. Okay, I'm working with my clear quartz pyramid here. Oh, guys, sorry. Now that it's better to focus. Look at that. I only have three of these, guys. Okay. So you can check it out. It's available now. Okay, it's on sale. Okay. So let's ask the question. Can I go to the devil and the tree of swords here? The cheating, lying, betrayal. What was hidden from you? Because what if you don't know? And you have you just have your in uh, intuition right now telling you that there's something. And let's see that. Okay. What was hidden from you? There's a three of swords in the devil card. So we're going to dissect that. So this is what we're trying to ask. What was hidden from you by your person, the devil and the three of swords. Okay. Now, this four of wands. And then you have the tower. Right? For others, of course, they want this to manifest still. For others, it's done. Then let's see. Is there a future in this relationship? Oh, chariot with the two of pentacles. Oh, I see it of the same. Is there a future in this relationship with the four of wands? And if it's over with the tower, what will happen next? Okay. It does look like it is your soulmate because you guys have the same vibe. Okay. Same vibe right here. So let's see how it's going to work for the people who are connecting with their soulmate. What happens next in this relationship in their connection? Okay. Now with the someone has shut down, I feel like your person Scorpio not talking to you with the high priestess. Let's see that also. Okay. I'm also using uh, elemental bracelet, um, fluorite, and of course our class A amethyst is very nice. Okay, so you can check it out. All right. Um, ignoring with the High Priestess, Four of Swords over here. You're trying to heal. You have been seeing some stuff in your dreams. Let's interpret that. So Grandeville, answer more of your questions, of course, in the extended reading. Okay. On the lower right side of this video, there is the... Um, you're going to click that and you will see extended. Okay, let's see here. Wow, you're definitely taking a step back. You have time for a nap, Scorpio. Okay. You're getting the support over here. You got a leg up. Okay. You're going to be expecting some messages from your person. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You've been you've been thinking a lot then. Contemplating on this. You know when a Scorpio starts to think that's not good because either they overthink or they're onto something. So which one is it? Are you onto something or are you just paranoid right now and you just woke up, you feel uncertain? Which one is it? Because this relationship right now is at a point where is it like, oh dear, you found out the truth or oh dear, you're wrong, Scorpio. Which one is it? Which one? Well, let's find out more. Link in the description box below for the extended reading. I'll see you there.